Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. All the futuristic warfare is going to be driven by technology. In the Russia-Ukraine conflict, we have seen how US Starlink network has helped Ukrainian forces to locate the Russian military assets and target them. The world has already seen various types of drone, UAVs such as lottery munitions, swan drones, attack drones and ISR drones which are changing the warfare dynamics. Most of these drones are guided by satellite communication. In fact, not only drones but fighter jets, missiles, almost every defense communication relies on satellite communication. So what if these satellites are destroyed by using anti-satellite missiles which are already developed by our adversaries like China. The military will be literally blind and most of the military hardware will be merely a sitting duck. China has already developed the anti-satellite missiles, however never publicly acknowledged. Back in February 2018, China tested an exo-atmospheric ballistic missile with the potential to be used as an ASAT or an anti-satellite weapon called the Dong Nang-3 with state media reporting that test was purely defensive. Back in March 2019, India had also tested an anti-satellite weapon during an operation codenamed Mission Shakti. The target of the test was a satellite present in a low Earth orbit or LEO orbit which was hit with a kinetic kill vehicle. At present, there are only four countries, namely US, Russia, China and India, possessing anti-satellite missiles. So let's consider a hypothetical or a worst case scenario where Indian satellites are destroyed by its adversaries. What is the plan B for the Indian military? This is where DRDO's project VEDA comes into play. It is primarily a road mobile military satellite launch vehicle which is mostly going to be a canister based. However, it's not just a launch vehicle but much more than that regarding which we will be discussing. VEDA will enable India to launch satellite on demand within very short span of time. These are going to be military satellites deployed for designated role or missions. VEDA also has the capability of launching constellation or swarm of satellites in the LEO or lower earth orbit. In situations where India loses its military satellites, it can be easily replenished with short span of time using VEDA. There is also a probability or possibility of a nano satellite ejection system which can be incorporated in the payload of VEDA in a clustered configuration. The nano satellites could be deployed to monitor over the conflict zone for intelligence gathering in short notice. VEDA can also be used for offensive missions which can take kamikaze drone for destroying the enemy's satellite. VEDA has capability to inject killer nano satellites into precise orbits for head-on collision to take out the hostile targets. So basically, VEDA is going to be one rocket which can perform multiple roles such as interception, anti-satellite missions and military satellite launcher. This is why it is going to be an ultimate weapon of DRDO. Though not officially confirmed, VEDA is most likely to be a derivative of Agni-4 Mark II missile. Agni-4 is having range between 3500 km to 4000 km and can attain a flight altitude of 900 km. However, there is likelihood that VEDA can be based on ASAT missile which is India's anti-satellite missile and a modified version of Prithvi defense vehicle Mark II. There is lot of secrecy maintained around this project, therefore there is very little information available about this ultimate weapon of DRDO. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, 
I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector